hello everybody and welcome along to the second week of the Celebrity FIFA World Cup today and this week we start with a fantastic matchup between Ireland and Greece. Should be a wonderful game. Alan Smith is with me as ever. Alan, how excited are you for this game? Well, you know, I'm always excited but uh, it's a big clash. Neither team's lost so far so it's going to be fun. It is indeed. Make sure you don't go anywhere, folks. It's going to be a mammoth contest. Join us next. And it's live. And now to the lineups for today. Ireland going with the 4 4 2. It's Father Ted in between the sticks in goal across the back line. Mrs. Brown, Bono, Michael D. Higgins, and Niall Horan. Four in midfield as well with Graham Norton coming in on the left hand side. Conor McGregor on the right. Roy Keane and Jack Septikai make up central midfield. And it's that strike partnership again. Hornswoggle and Dara O'Brien, who were so effective in the first game out, weren't they, Alan? Yeah, they were. And, you know, Hornswoggle, despite his heart, is an aerial threat. And the Greek defence would have to look out for him. And now to Greece, they've brought Socrates in to play in goal. 4-4-1-1 for them. Medusa, Hercules, Dave Bautista and Narcissus across their defence. Zach Galifianakis and Jennifer Aniston on the wings with Hades and Ares in central midfield. And it's Zeus just in behind the lone striker of Georgius Samaras. And, uh, well, what a lineup we've got for both teams. What a game this should be. I can't wait for the action to unfold. Alan Smith, what do you think is going to happen today? Well, it's tough to say, really, you know, watching the... Uh first week of the group matches these two sides looked pretty uh, pretty on top and uh, good to see them clash against each other I think the uh, Greek team had a lack of Achilles this week having a problem with his ankle so uh, they might miss him and I miss him I have to say the Greek team in terms of their physique look like a, a real dominating uh, team don't they they've got so many tall players and those Greek gods you can see a lot of them are over seven foot tall how is Hornswoggle going to deal with Hercules in the defence considering I think uh, you could probably fit four of Hornswoggle standing on each other's shoulders and still wouldn't be as tall as Hercules well yeah but you know they say the bigger they are the harder they fall but that's only if you weigh a lot what if you're really big and don't weigh much here's Zach Galifianakis down the left hand side for Greece now Trying to put the cross in, but it's a good block in the end from Niall Horan. Of course, has been brought in at right back. Uh, how do you see him having an influence on the team today, Alan? Well, about as much influence as he has on uh, One Direction, really. Not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Medusa slithering one down the line to Zeus, the god of thunder and lightning, of course. He's taken on Michael D. Higgins and he's got past him. Can he get a shot in here? It's great feet from Zeus. Is that Galifianakis? Provides the option on the left and plays it into oh! Samaras. Oh, he got there as well and probably should have scored. Decent chance there. Oh, only Samaras would miss a chance like that. He's crap. So Georgia Samaras, of course, included in the Greek team as their chosen legend. Interesting choice considering they've uh, got a few people that maybe were more prolific goal scorers for their country. Why do you think Samaras got the nod? Well, I think it's his hair and the fact he played for Celtic. You know, a lot of people remember him from that. And... Uh, Bit of a catchy name too, a bit like Smith. Good in the air as well, Georgia Samaras, of course, during his career. Something I know that you uh, were fond of when you played. You scored a few headers in your time, didn't you, Alan? Yeah, I did score a few headers and uh, you know, that was for Arsenal. The Gunners played for them, but uh, I don't really like to talk about it that much. It's Hades, who of course played so well in the first game. and It's uh, swept out to Zach Galifianakis here, crosses blocked by Niall Horan. But it goes behind for a corner and these are really the situations where Greece can be particularly dangerous with all their big target men in the box up from the back. Well he can and you know, Hercules is one of them. He managed to wrestle the Nemean lion to death. So surely he can wrestle his way into the box. Well let's see Jennifer Aniston stands on the corner plays it and it's towards oh. Hercules who did win his header and it was drifting wide but I think it was uh, Jack Septikai decided to head it away. Looks to be going out for a throw into Greece and it is down the right hand side Dave Bautista has come across to take it he goes short to Aniston back to Bautista and now Ares the god of war 
who of course has been brought in to partner Hades in central midfield. That's a pretty devilish partnership, isn't it, in the centre of the park? Yeah, well, it is, but you know, this game's got nothing to do with war, so uh, whether he'll be useful or not, not too sure. I think the likes of uh, Zeus and Hercules will have an impact, but you might as well have a god of sandwiches. If you were a Greek god, would that be your particular era of godliness? And Would you be the god of sandwiches, do you think? Yeah, I think so. Either that or god of headers. He sat up on Olympus with a goal next to me and someone like Hermes crossing him in and me banging him in top corner. Here is Georgia Samaras taking it down and a flying challenge goes in from Conor McGregor. He uh, misses the player and the ball though and now Ares takes it forward for Greece into Hades. Now Zeus spreading it out to the left. Zach Galifianakis has beaten the offside track. Niall Horan really just uh, jogging back there. It's played in. Michael D. Higgins gets it away. It's played back in from the cross towards Zeus. But in the end, Ireland managed to clear their lines. Michael D. Higgins, of course, he's uh, playing at centre-back today and uh, it looks like he's kept his trousers on from his last press conference. Do you reckon that's going to hinder his ability at all? Well, it's an odd choice, I know that. But uh, some players, you know, back in the old days, used to play on horseback. I don't know if that actually did happen, did it? I think that sounds more like polo to me. Well, Google FA Cup final, 1941. Oh, wait, that was World War Two. Samaras now, but the pass is intercepted by Roy Keane. And there goes the half-time whistle. Well, deadlocked at the break. No real chances for either side. The score at the break is nil-nil. And I think both teams will be looking at maybe making some changes in the second half. It's been quite an even contest so far. It has, but... Uh... You know, I think we went off on a few tangents there because the game itself was quite poor. So hopefully second half will be much better. This match is brought to you by Mr Jumbles' Meowthfuls. Did you ever look at your cat and think, that cat couldn't finish his dinner? Well, worry no longer, because Mr. Jumbles' mouthfuls are tasty and made with 100% natural ingredients like tuna, beetroot, sandwiches and lemonade. Take advantage of our Jumbles sale now with 50% off when you type in offer code R18 on our website. Mr. Jumbles' mouthfuls for people who love their cats. So Greece get us underway in this second half, nil-nil at the break and uh, not a lot of chances in the first half. Hopefully the action can increase in the second half as both teams look to maybe get another three points on the board. Of course, they both won their first game in the group. So um, whoever goes on to win this game, if there is a winner, will be in pole position to qualify from this group, won't they, Alan? They will, but uh, I thought I'd quickly mention that Half time was good for business, sold a lot of sandwiches, so thanks to anyone who bought one. Um, also sold a few smoothies as well. Oh, they sound nice. What's in your smoothies? Well, it's a combination of uh, Greek yogurt and Irish Guinness. And uh, I'll call them Yogginess. Delicious. And uh, sandwich of the day, was there anything interesting on the menu for that? Well, special today was soda bread and Greek salad. And a big dollop of chocolate. Well, just past the hour mark here and uh, the game is still at stalemate. We've got Michael Owen down on the touchline for us to give us his thoughts on the game so far. Michael, what do you reckon? Well, football's all about scoring goals and neither team scored a goal. Here's Jack Septiguy again. Dara O'Brien uh, coming short to try and get the ball. He's not really had a chance to influence the game anything like as much as he did in the first game, but he's got it here. Dara O'Brien crosses blocked and out for a corner to Ireland as the crowd really gets on their uh, side. First substitution of the game now as well for Greece and it is Georgia Samaras going off to be replaced by Odysseus up front. Another real big oh. striker to try and aim some balls in towards. Well, he did bring down the walls of Troy with Achilles, but can he bring down the walls of Ireland? Hornswoggle so caught offside there. Again, both these strikers for Ireland have really been nullified very well by the uh, Greek defence, haven't they, Alan? Well, yeah, well, I think it helps. They've got a demigod who's over seven foot tall. 
good ball over the top now, looking for Jennifer Aniston. She's taking on Mrs. Brown and Ooh. turns past her, plays it in, it's oh! Zeus, and it's in! It's the opening goal, fantastic header from Zeus in the centre of the park, and he goes off to celebrate. Oh, I think he's struck down his team wow. in a clap of thunder. He is the god of thunder, of course. Wonderful goal, though. Jennifer Aniston down the right-hand side, crossed it in, and Zeus finished it with a plum. Well, I was almost falling asleep there, and then kabama slap! Jennifer Aniston whips one in and bang Zeus, 1-0 up. Now I'm happy. Kabama slap indeed, what a header, look at this. Father Ted didn't even move in goal, Michael D. Higgins couldn't get to it first. Maybe the trousers were holding him back slightly as he tried to reach the ball ahead of Zeus. He couldn't do it, Zeus scores, it's 1-0 Greece. Well, after that goal, Gary Neville's joined us from the sideline as well. Gary, what are your thoughts so far? Yeah, well, I've just been uh, looking at Roy Keane's performance, I actually think he's been pretty rubbish. Uh, and I think, you know, England have missed the trick not picking me as the uh, legend for for them. That's really sad that they've missed out on Gary Neville. Thanks for that, Gary. As Zach Galifianakis leaves the field now to be replaced by Hippocrates down the left-hand side for Greece. It's a free kick for Ireland, who have got to try and get themselves back in this game. Bono smashes it forwards towards Dara O'Brien, but he's beaten in the air by Hades again. Now Zeus back to Ares, the sheer physicality of the Greek team, just too much for Ireland so far. Headed clear, but nodded back into oh. Hades, oh and what a save from Father Ted, brilliant effort from Hades who's been in such great form so far this tournament, but denied by a fabulous save from Father Ted. I think the Holy Spirit helped him out with that one, that was not human luck. It wasn't and uh, the first change of the game for Ireland has just uh, taken place, Dara O'Brien has been replaced by Bob Geldof in the striking role. See if he can uh, carve out a few chances for them if they try and get back in this game. It's played in now by Greece, and in the end, I think Ireland have just about dealt with it. Hippocrates now taking on Niall Horan down the left-hand side, looking to play it in on the right foot, and the header comes in, oh! and it's into the back of the net, and Greece looks to have settled the result here. It's Odysseus with the header, set up by Hippocrates, the two substitutes combining, and Ireland look to be succumbing to defeat here. Well, whether he's a hypocrite or not, doesn't matter, what a great cross. Lovely finish from Odysseus, you know. It took him 10 years to find his way home from Troy, but only took him a matter of seconds to bang that one in. Kablamma slap! Yeah, great stuff from Greece. They've just looked too strong for Ireland today, who uh, played so well in their first game against Scandinavia, but they just haven't had a chance against Greece. They've been absolutely outsmarted and outmuscled, and it's 2 0 with just a minute of the game left. Hornswoggle takes it down on the left hand side and turns back, but the clock's running down here, and I think. Greece are about to come home with a famous victory. Hornswoggle plays the cross in, Hercules heads it oh. away, and there is the full-time whistle, and Greece have uh, produced a fantastic performance here against the Irish to win 2-0. They've now won both their first two games of the group stage and look like favourites to go through. Yeah, tough game for Ireland. I hope their uh, luck hasn't run out. I'd like to see them qualify. But, you know, that's just the way it is. You've got demigods on your team and you've got philosophers that's a deadly combination as they say so good game uh, good sandwiches today and that's me out thanks a lot for your contributions alan a pleasure to be alongside you in the commentary booth as ever remember guys if you're watching now to vote for the next game you can see in full here on sonic gaming for fan game fridays there are five options to choose from in the top right hand corner of the video right now choose your favorite and that will be the next game you see here in the celebrity fifa world cup and then following that on sunday it's the uh, week highlights where we show highlights from every single game uh, in a sort of half an hour long match of the day type show which will be taking place every week in the meantime though thank you very much for watching really hope you're enjoying the celebrity fifa world cup so far thanks so much for all the support on it make sure to leave suggestions for any players that could be added to any of the squads in the comments as well leave a like if you're enjoying the series subscribe if you haven't already uh, but until the next video this is sunnage signing out thank you very much for watching everybody farewell